Oh my gosh, hey you guys, Catcom here freezing with my buddies Bethany and Olga. It is so cold in San it Diego. It is freezing, it's literally. Super sunny. I brought my tortoises in last night, poor little guys. Oh, you're a good tortoise. Well, <laughs> thank you. You guys are so You have lipstick on your tooth. Oh, I do? Yeah. I don't even have lipstick on. You okay, anyways, gloss. All right. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> we're gonna try to make this a more interesting vlog than last week. Whoa. You guys were like almost asleep I think when you I was were in Hawaii. Trip to fan Didn't you think Eric wasn't even falling? He hit the camera. Was I, like, was I was bored. I was bored. I bored myself. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got Olga here, and she's gonna give us the trainer tip of the week, which is going to be on keeping the weight off once you've lost it. Olga is an expert, and she's got the experience Persona. there. She has lost. Uh, over 100 pounds. Yep. And kept it off. So Olga, how do you keep it off? Can we well, see Olga under her hat? There okay. we go. Um, so what I think is important. Um, weight loss, it's a lifestyle change commitment. So once you change your lifestyle and you learn how to make an exercise priority and you make a food uh, choices better, then it's, you keep it for the rest of your life. Once you learn how to manage your stress, how to make, again, I repeat myself, exercise priority, then it should be, you know, your lifetime commitment. So we all have a setbacks, you know, once in a while, the holidays and stress and work um, happens and we all have a slip ups and go into bad habits, but the way I, Personally, for me, I keep it off and keep my mind on the good, on the straight, on the ball. Is keeping my picture in the refrigerator of me 240 pounds, and I say I never go back to this. So once you know, I go through holidays and I have a piece of pie. I always get an extra hour workout. If I have a stressful day, I'll take a yoga. So this is how it works for me. But for everybody, it's different, you know. So I will say whatever works for you. Maybe have a positive people around you and support system is yeah, huge. fitness bodies <coughs> who you can constantly schedule workouts with. Maybe sign up for fitness camp that keeping you on and on through the holidays for four weeks or six weeks. Maybe make sure you don't go hungry shopping. All those rules apply while you're trying to lose weight. They're gonna apply it for the rest of your life. You know, you just want to make sure you continue on with what you were doing when you were trying to lose weight. That's a really good point, actually. Yeah. So you kind of try to keep that mindset even when yeah. you're in maintenance phase. It's never just a short term. Oh, let me just lose a weight for high school reunion, or let me just lose a weight for my wedding. You need to lose weight to think about this is the way you're gonna live. This is you're gonna be healthy choices. Exercise is important, not just for. Aesthetics is just important for your for your health, for your heart, for your muscle mass, for everything else. So you gotta just You can also become a trainer like Olga. If you yeah, exactly. because then your workouts are exactly. scheduled and you get paid for that. Exactly. So, so I will double bonus. Exactly. I might consider that. Exactly. <laughs> I made it my my life because right. I became addicted to exercise. I used I came 180 degree, 360 degree yeah. spectrum. I came from hating exercise, failing uh, a gym class in high school to run in a marathon, you know, run in races and doing triathlons because something click, you gotta click to make your life, you know, change, you know, commitments. So. And remember, it has to be within. You can't force other people around you, um, maybe that are unhealthy in your life. You can't force them. They have to be ready. So you can be a good role model, but you can't force them. So thanks, Olga. Good Very good. All right, so uh, question of the week came from Jenny in Jersey. Jenny and and she was asking about our Jenny and Jersey. I know, right? Can we call her Jenny from the block. Yeah, <laughs> Jenny, our question comes from Jenny from, Jenny the, block. from the block. And she was asking um, if there was a difference between the music and our download downloadable classes versus those classes that are um, available to stream. And so there is a difference. We do have licensing limitations when we um, create a class that's downloadable. Here's the good news um, with those downloadable classes. Sometimes as trainers we focus a lot on the music and that is, it's awesome. Music is a great motivator. I would say I do that as much as if not more than even some of the other trainers. When we um, aren't focusing so much on the music, we're focusing more on the ride and the workout. And so Honestly, a lot of those downloadable classes, which are also available for streaming, are really incredible workouts where you get more instruction than you would otherwise. Um, I, we might have a little bit more fun in the classes that aren't downloadable. But anyway, so yes, there is a difference. They are both um, amazing video choices that we have out there, the classes that are downloadable and those that aren't, so. I think too, with the downloadable music, it's stuff that um, you never hear on the radio. You're not gonna hear on the radio. So, I mean, I think- That's kind of fun. Yeah, and I think, but the 
when it's not downloadable music, when it's the stuff you hear on the radio, like people kind of get into it more just because they know those yeah, songs. Exactly. But when it's the downloadable stuff, people don't know those songs. But we try to like. So they focus more on the workout together. Yeah, right? but we try yeah. to like sprinkle them into our other playlists too, I so that too. people will learn them and go, oh man, that is a cool song. And some people try and go find those songs that we yeah, have in can. our downloads. <laughs> yeah, they're hard to find. Yeah. But we do have some popular artists that we are able to yeah. play in there. Um, it's just those are limited too. So, anyways, yeah. good question, Jenny from the Block. Jenny from the Block. All right. Nice job. I know that last week we did have a downloadable spin core that um, I released for you guys. Make sure and take that. It really helps you learn your gear and you push really, really hard in that class. So um, check that one out, comment back on it. And then what do we have coming up this week? Um, Sunday I'm coming out with a speed sculpt. Very good. And it's a lot of fun. Okay. And so do it. All right. It's not downloadable, right? It is not. All available for all access pass holders yes. only. And all access pass holders do have um, the uh, option to take all the downloadable classes as well for free. Okay. All right. right. And then um, Thursday. Include it in your all access pass. Thursday. Okay. Can I finish my sentence? Yes. <laughs> Look, we're really tired. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Thursday, Rebecca is coming out with a straight up spin, which is also not downloadable. Rebecca! So you Yay! guys love Rebecca. So Rebecca's go ahead back. And do She's those our, two classes. Our Iron Woman. She's a beast. And you guys are Crazy. gonna get Olga this month. Yeah. Well, you didn't get Olga last month. Olga is coming out with a TRX sculpt class this month, so watch Fine. for that a little later. Awesome. Okay, I, I yeah. think that's all that's we have for you today. I hope this was more interesting. <laughs> and, <laughs> and goodbye. I love you. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you.